Hi there, I'm Jack. Thank you for joining me today. This is going to be my tutorial on how to paint out your tripod or light stand on the bottom of your 360 degree video using Metal's Skybox Converter. So I've got myself a sample clip here. I'm just going to drag this into GoPro's VR player. So this is my, my raw footage after I stitched it. You can see here it's 360 degrees all the way around, up and down. So at the bottom here you can see I've got my light stand that I used when recording this footage. Obviously you, you want to be able to remove this somehow. You don't really want this being here when you're playing back and showing people your video footage. So today this is what we're going to do. We're going to paint it out completely so it looks like your camera is floating. There's no hint of a tripod or any kind of mount underneath. This is a much better way of showing your idea rather than having an image or a photo beneath. So first of all, we're going to open up After Effects here. I'm using the latest Creative Cloud version. We're going to start a new project and go and import our video footage. So mine is located here on the desktop in the Nadir Tutorial folder under the Stitched Outputs folder that I've organized it into. Uh, so we're going to take the raw footage here. This has got the light stand underneath it. I'm going to pop it into a, a, a bin to start with just to keep things tidy. Rename that as shot two in case we're working with multiple shots. Then I'm just going to drag that straight over the new composition button and it will make the composition with exactly the same settings as the original footage. So first things first, we're going to duplicate uh, the video file here. And then we're just going to uncheck the audio so that we don't have any conflicting sound. Then we're going to rename that original bottom uh, video to original source. This just means we can keep it completely separate from everything and make sure that we don't move or delete it. Then we're going to rename the layer that we're going to do our work on as Nadir Painting. So once we've done that, we're going to go to Effects and add in our Metal Skybox Converter plugin. This is going to pop up and we can see that we've got our input as equi rectangular, our output is likewise equi rectangular, and our output frame width is 4096. So down in the reorientation camera view, um, we're going to change the x-axis tilt to minus 90 degrees. This is going to spin it right round um, so we can see the base directly in the middle. That means it's not going to be stretched at all. This is like almost completely flat, basically. And then we're going to use the clone stamping tool. Uh, the benefit of this is it's just literally going to reference other areas of the video and it's also going to reference it as video rather than as a still image. The only issue with this is you can't use the stamping tool directly on the layer with the effect applied. So you can see here I've opened up the layer panel where you would do the, the stamping and it's taken no notice of our Skybox converter plugin. So what this means is we need to pre-compose this. We're going to move it to a new composition and move all of the effects that we've applied to that video layer with it. So we hit OK. Now you see the pre-comp in our timeline. I'm just going to mute the sound on that just to make sure we have no conflicting audio. And this has the Skybox Converter plugin applied to it. But as you can see in the effects control above, it does not have the Skybox plugin here applied to the composition. It's applied to the layer within it. So we've double clicked on the composition and that's opened up the layer pane. Um, and now we're able to use the stamp tool to actually paint out the, the monopod uh, or the light stand or the tripod that you're using. So we need to select our brush type. I've got the 45 pixel soft brush here. I'm going to zoom right in so we can see exactly what we're doing and drag that around. I'm also going to open up the panel so you can see more and we've got more of the, the frame to kind of pick from. So as you can see here, it's like a kind of a flat video like you'd expect to see anywhere else. If you hold down Alt uh, while selecting the stamp tool, you can pick where you're going to reference from. Then you can release Alt and all you need to do is brush away at your tripod or your base and it will reference from where you've selected, taking that part of the video. Straight away, it's gone. That looks pretty decent to me. But if you look, you kind of got a bit of duplication. So just to kind of add a further illusion in there, I'm going to select another couple of areas to, to keep painting in and to give it some more depth. 
you want to be really careful and try and make sure, especially in this case where you've got solid leaves, that you're not kind of cutting leaves in half. You want to be able to see the full leaf. So once we've done that, jump back to our composition window and you can see it's completely gone. So now what we need to do is move that echo rectangular right the way back round. So we're going to add the effect back in, go down to Metal and add the Metal Skybox Converter. As we can see, it's still echo rectangular. So we're going to keep all these settings exactly the same as they were. And this time we're just going to re-add the 90 degrees. So we're going to put plus 90 degrees here and that'll ping it right back round to the original video. As you can see this time, we've painted out the bottom, completely removing the light stand that we had there originally. So now you can go and export this into your editing software by using the Adobe Dynamic Link to take it into Premiere Pro or exporting it out specifically to go into other softwares. So I'm just gonna show you what we've got here. We've completely removed the base and you can see there is no light stand. So you can see once again what we've done. Thanks once again for joining me. I've been Jack and I've been showing you how to remove your light stand or your tripod from the nadir of your 360 video using Metal Skybox Converter.